Hello everyone, in this episode we're checking out one handy gadget. This is a truly portable, rechargeable fan with some very nice features. First, it has a variable fan speed controlled by a dial at the front that lets you set exactly the speed you want compared to other fans which have a preset low, medium, high setting. What I also like is that even at its highest setting, it's fairly quiet. The fan housing rotates through 270 degrees, allowing you to direct the airflow exactly where you want it. The unit has a built-in 7800 milliamp hour battery that can be charged in 5 hours and only requires a 2 amp charge, which means it can be powered by even some power banks or a laptop through its USB-C port at the rear. The battery is rated to last at least 6 hours at the fan's highest setting and as long as 25 hours at the lowest. It's compact, lightweight, which makes it extremely portable. The housing is constructed of thick and durable plastic that feels like it could definitely take some light abuse. Another nice feature is the included floodlight at the top, which has a low, medium, and high setting, which would be great if using this while camping, for example. There's also four LEDs to give you a general idea of the charge left in the battery. As far as fans go, this one pretty much checks all the boxes. It's quiet, has a dial adjustable speed setting, is rechargeable, and has good battery life. And on top of all that, it's truly portable and lightweight. This would be great for camping, going on a picnic, keep at your workstation, or maybe even use during your at-home workouts now. Overall, I think this is an excellent product, and right now, there's a limited time discount, so make sure to check that link down in the description for more details. So guys, overall, I think this is a pretty cool fan, no pun intended, but I think it checks all of the boxes and there's really nothing I can knock it for. I genuinely try to find areas of opportunity when I review products on this channel and really there's nothing here that I can knock it for. Even at its highest setting, it's pretty quiet, which is one of the areas where a lot of these inexpensive fans fail. And this one's pretty quiet even at high, I love that it's fully rechargeable and has a long battery life and even the inclusion of this little floodlight at the top I think it's a good addition. Maybe you're using this while working on a car in the garage or taking it camping or really anything. You just need a little bit of extra light even maybe during a power outage. I mean there's just a lot of times where a light comes in handy so I like that they include that too and it's a simple thing but I like that the fan speed is adjustable by a dial and that you can pick exactly the right setting you like. Again it's a small detail but just something I prefer. So overall, I think this is an excellent product. And again, really lightweight, but durable too. I really think it could take a minor beating and still be okay if you're gonna use this in some sort of outdoor environment. So overall, this is a win from me. Highly recommend this one. If you want more details, you can find that link down in the description. My question for you guys is, where do you think one of these fans would be great? Where would you really use one of these? Let everybody know down in the comments. If you guys have any other comments or questions, please do leave them down below. I try to get to every single one. If you'd like to get in touch, here's my social media links, which you can find down in the description as well. And last, before we go guys, if you enjoy straightforward, to the point content like this where we find great deals online, please make sure to leave the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Pretty easy and free ways to help support the channel. That's all I've got for you this time, guys. I'm Zach. This is Slick Reviews, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a comment down below and give the video a thumbs up. Here's some other videos that I think you'll really like. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos, and I'm on Facebook and Twitter as well. See you at the next one.